to business is the motion on the establishment of statutory committees. As this is a business motion, there will be no debate. Clark, please read the motion. That, in accordance with Standing Orders 46 and 47, this Assembly determines that nine statutory committees shall be established as follows. The Committee for Agriculture, Environment and Rural Affairs, the Committee for Communities, the Committee for the Economy, the Committee for Education, the Committee for the Executive Office, the Committee for Finance, the Committee for Health, the Committee for Infrastructure and the Committee for Justice. Terms of reference, quorum and composition of the committee shall be prescribed in Standing Orders 48 and 49. Call Ms. Carol McQuillan. Mulliman Roon, I move the motion. Can call her, Mr. Speaker. The question is that the motion standing on the order paper be agreed. All those in favour say aye. aye. Contrary, no. The ayes have it. The ayes have it. The next item of business on the order paper is the appointment of chairpersons and deputy chairpersons of statutory committees in accordance with procedures set out in Standing Order 48. I shall ask a nominating officer of each political party in the order required by the formula contained in Standing Order 48 to select an available statutory committee and nominate a person who is a member of his or her party and of the Assembly to be the chairperson or deputy chairperson. Before we commence, I have received notification from the nominating officer of the Social Democratic and Labour Party advising me that Mr Alex Atwood will serve as nominating officer for the party for the remainder of today's business. I remind parties of the requirement of Standing Order 48.5 that nominating officers shall prefer committees in which they do not have a party interest over those in which they do. For the avoidance of doubt, this means I will expect parties to refrain as far as possible from selecting committees that coincide with the ministerial office held by their party. I shall now call on Mrs Arlene Foster as nominating officer of the party, which has the highest figure under the formula, to select an available statutory committee and nominate a person who is a member of her party and of the Assembly to be its chairperson or deputy chairperson. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I select uh, the Committee for Justice and I nominate uh, as chairman Mr. Paul Frew. Is the, member, is the member willing to take office up office for which he has been nominated? I accept, Mr. Speaker. I announce the appointment of Mr. Paul Frew as chairperson of the Committee for Justice. I call on Mr. Martin McGuinness to select an available statutory committee and nominate a member to be its chairperson or deputy chairperson. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. I select uh, the Committee for the Department of the Economy and nominate Connor Murphy as the chair of that committee. Is the member willing to take up office for which he has been nominated? Clark of Post, Clark Court, I'm, I'm willing to take up office. I announce the appointment of Mr. Connor Murphy as chairperson of the Committee for the Economy. I call again Mrs. Arlene Foster to select and nominate. Uh, I select the Committee for Finance and I nominate for chairperson uh, the name of Emma Pengeli. Is the member willing to take up the office for which she has been nominated? I am willing to take up that office. I announce the appointment of Emma Pengeli as chairman of the Committee for Finance. I now call on Mr. Mike Nesbitt to select an available statutory committee and nominate a member to be its chairperson or deputy chairperson. Mr. Speaker, uh, I select the, exec the Committee of the Executive Office and uh, nominate myself as Chair. Is the member willing to take up the office for which he has been nominated? Think about it. Uh, how long have I got? <laughs> yes, uh, Mr. Mr. Speaker, I am. 
I announce the appointment of Mr. Mike Nesbitt as chairperson of the committee for the executive. I call again on Mr. Martin McGuinness to select and nominate. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, I select uh, the committee for the Department of Education and nominate uh, Barry Michael Duff as the chairperson of that committee. Is the member willing to take up the office for which he has been nominated? I do accept. I announce the appointment of Barry McElduff as chairperson of the Department for Education. I call again on Mrs. Arlene Foster to select and nominate. Uh, I select the Committee for Health and I nominate the name of Paula Bradley for chairperson. Is the member willing to take up office for which she has been nominated? Hey, Mr. Speaker, I'm willing to take up office. I announce the appointment of Paula Bradley as chairperson of the Committee for Health. I now call on Mr. Alex Atwood to select an available statutory committee and nominate a person of his party to be its chairperson or deputy chairperson. Uh, Mr. Speaker, on behalf of uh, the SDLP, we choose the Department of Communities. And I'm pleased to nominate Mr. Colum Eastwood, MLA. Is the member willing to take up office for which he has been nominated? I am. I announce the appointment of Colum Eastwood as chairman of the Department for Communities. I call again on Mrs. Arlene Foster to select and nominate. I select the Committee for Infrastructure and nominate Mr. William Humphrey. Is the member willing to take up office for which he has been nominated? Mr. Speaker, I'm pleased to take up office as nominated. Well I announce the appointment of Mr. William Humphrey as chairperson of the Department Committee for Infrastructure. Mr. Martin McGuinness to select and nominate. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. I select the Committee for Agriculture, Environment and Rural Affairs and uh, propose uh, Linda Dillon as the chairperson of that committee. Is the member willing to take up office for which she has been nominated? I am willing to accept the post. I announce the appointment of uh, Linda Dillon as chair of the Agriculture, Environment and Rural Affairs Committee. I call on Mr. David Ford to select an available statutory committee and nominate a person of his party to be its chairperson or deputy chairperson. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, I nominate Chris Little as deputy chair of the Committee for Education. Is the member willing to take up office for which he has been nominated? Yes, Mr. Speaker, I accept. I announce the appointment of Chris Little as chairperson of the Committee for Education. Deputy, sorry, Deputy. I call again on Mr. Mike Nesbitt to select and nominate. Mr. Speaker, I select uh, the Committee of the Economy uh, and as Deputy Chair appoint Steve Aiken. Sorry, appoint? Steve Aiken. Steve Aiken. He's an MLA. Is Mr. Steve Aiken willing to take up the office for which he has been nominated? Yes, I'm willing to take up the office to which I've been nominated. I announce the appointment of Mr. Steve Aiken as chairperson, deputy chairperson of the Committee for the Economy. I again ask Mrs. Fo Arlene Foster to select and nominate. Mr. Speaker, I would request an adjournment, a short adjournment, to consider matters as allowed understanding order. Can I ask the member how long she would anticipate? Uh, ten minutes. As a request has been made for an extension to the time limit, Standing Order 488 requires Assembly approval for such a, a request. 
The question is that the Assembly approves an extension of the time limit by 10 minutes. All those in favour say aye. 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 Contrary, no. The ayes have it. The ayes have it. I ask the members to take their ease.
Members resume their seats. Call again on Mrs. Arlene Foster to select and nominate. Thank you, uh, Mr. Speaker. I select uh, the Committee for Justice and name as Deputy Chair Pam Cameron. Is a member who has been nominated willing to take up office for which she has been nominated? Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Yes, I'm willing to take up office. I announce the appointment of Pam Cameron as Chair, Deputy Chairperson of the Committee for Justice. I call again on Mr. Martin McGuinness to select and nominate. Thank you, uh, Mr. Speaker. I, I select the Committee for Communities and uh, Michelle Gildernew as a Deputy Chair. Is the member willing to take up office for which she has been nominated? Uh, I announce the appointment of, Mich of, announce the appointment of Michelle Gildernew as Chairperson of the Department for the Communities. I call again on Mrs Arlene Foster to select and nominate. Uh, I select the Committee for Health and uh, nominate the name of Gary Middleton as Deputy Chair. Is the member willing to take up the office for which he has been nominated? Thank you, Mr Speaker. I'm willing to accept. I announce the appointment of Gary Middleton as Deputy Chairperson of the Committee for Health. I call again on Mr. Alex Atwood to select and nominate. Uh, Mr. Speaker, uh, on behalf of the STLP, uh, I select the Department of Health, uh, sorry, Department of Finance, apologies, and uh, select Claire Hanna. Thanks. I announce the appointment of Claire Hanna as Deputy Chairperson of the Committee for Health. I call again on. I call again on Mr. Martin McGuinness to select and nominate. Sorry. Finance. My yes. apologies. Th thank you, uh, Mr. Speaker. Uh, I select the Department for the Economy, and the Vice Chair uh, will be Alec Maskey. That's what? Sorry. What's going on? Sorry, dear. <laughs> sorry. sorry. Apologies. That's my fault. DFP. Let's go on. Sorry. Okay, C can I have a few minutes of German, please? Sorry, sorry, but. Standing order requires Assembly approval for such a request. The question is that the Assembly approves an extension for the time limit of. Ask Mr. McGuinness for a. Time. Can I ask Mr. McGuinness? For five minutes. All those in favour say aye. aye. Contrary, no. The ayes have it. The ayes have it. I ask members to take their ease.
Members resume their seats. I call again on Mr. Martin McGuinness to select a nominee. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. I select the Agriculture, Environment and Rural Affairs, and the Vice Chair will be Declan Kearney. Is the member willing to take up the office for which he has been nominated? John Corlea, to my Tulsana, and Austin Gladby, I'm willing to accept the position. I announce the appointment of Mr. Declan Kearney as Chair Deputy Chairperson of the Committee for a Agriculture, Environment and Rural Affairs. I call again on Mrs Arlene Foster to select and nominate. Uh, I select uh, the Committee for Infrastructure and nominate William Irwin as the Deputy Chair. Is the member willing to take up the office for which he has been nominated? Yes, Mr Speaker, I accept. I announce the appointment of Mr William Irwin as Deputy Chairperson of the Committee for the Infrastructure. I call again on Mr Mike Nesbitt to select and nominate. Mr Speaker, uh, we select the Deputy uh, Chair of the Executive Office and I nominate Sandra Overend. Is the member willing to take up the office for which she has been nominated? Thank you, I'm willing. I announce the appointment of Sandra Overend as Deputy Chairperson of the Committee for the Executive Office. Thank you, members. That concludes the appointment of the Chairpersons and the Deputy Chairpersons of the Statutory Committees. I offer my congratulations to all who have been appointed. The order paper is the appointment of chairs and deputy chairs of standing committees. I am required to supervise the appointment of a chairperson and deputy chairperson to each standing committee other than the business committee in accordance, the procedure, accordance with the procedure set out in Standing Order 51. I shall ask the nominating officer of each political party in the order required by the formula contained in Standing Order 51 to to select an available standing committee and nominate a person who is a member of his or her own party and of the Assembly to be the chairperson or deputy chairperson. Before we commence, I remind parties of the requirement of Standing Order 56.3 that neither the chairperson nor deputy chairperson of the Public Accounts Committee shall be a member of the same political party as the Minister of Finance or of any junior minister appointed to the Department of Finance. I shall now call on Mrs Arlene Foster as nominating officer of the party, which has the highest figure under the formula laid down in standing orders to select an available standing committee and nominate a person who is a member of her party and of the Assembly to be the chairperson or deputy chairperson of it. Uh, Mr. Speaker, I select uh, the uh, Committee for Procedures and I nominate Gordon Lyons as Chairperson. Is the member willing to take up the office for which he has been nominated? Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I'm willing to accept. I announce the appointment of Gordon Lyons as Chairperson of the Committee for Procedures. I now call on Mr. Martin McGuinness to select an available standing committee and nom nominate a person who is a member of his party and of the Assembly to be chairperson or deputy chairperson of it. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. I select standards and privileges and uh, propose Cahill Boylan as chair of that committee. Is the member willing to take up the office for which he, or he has been nominated? I announce the appointment of Cattle Boylan as Chairperson of the Committee for Standards and Privilege. I again call on Mrs Arlene Foster to select and nominate. Uh, I select the Standing Committee of AERC and nominate Christopher Stolford as Chair. Is the member willing to take up the office for which he has been nominated? Thank you, Mr Speaker. I am prepared to take up the office. I announce the appointment of Christopher Stalford as Chairperson of the Committee for AERC. I now call on Mr Mike Nesbitt to select an available standing committee and nominate a person who is a member of his party and of the Assembly 
to be chairperson or deputy chairperson of it. Mr. Speaker, I select the Public Accounts Committee and I nominate Robin Swan as chair. Is the member willing to take up the office for which he has been nominated? I am, Mr. Speaker. I announce the appointment of Mr. Robin Swan as chairperson of the Public Accounts Committee. I again call on Mr. Martin McGuinness to select and nominate. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I select the Audit Committee and Declan McAleer as the chair of that committee. Is the member willing to take up the office for which he has been nominated? I announce the appointment of Mr. Declan, Declan McAleer as chairperson of the Committee for Audit. Again, call on Mrs. Arlene Foster to select and nominate. I select the Committee of Standards and Privileges and nominate Adrian McQuillan as deputy chair. Is the member willing to take up the office for which he has been nominated? Thanks, Mr. Speaker. I am. I announce the appointment of Mr. Adrian McQuillan as Deputy Chairperson of the Committee for Standards and Privileges. I now call on Mr. Alex Atwood to select an available standing committee and nominate a person who is a member of his party and of the Assembly to be, chairper to be Deputy Chairperson of it. Uh, Mr. Speaker, uh, I choose the Deputy Chair of Public Accounts and nominate Daniel McCrossan. Is the member willing to take up the office for which he has been nominated? I accept, Mr. Speaker. I announce the appointment of Mr. Daniel McCrossan as Deputy Chairperson of the Committee for the Public Accounts. I again call on Mrs. Arlene Foster to select and nominate. I select uh, the uh, Deputy Chair of Procedures and nominate Edwin Poots. Is the member willing to take up the office for which he has been nominated? I announce the appointment of Mr. Edwin Poots as Deputy Chairperson of the Committee for uh, Procedures. I call again on Mr. Martin McGuinness to select and nominate. I select the Air Committee and the Vice Chair, Michaela Boyle. is unable to be in the chamber today, but I have received confirmation from her that she is willing to accept the nomination. I therefore the, uh, announce the appointment of Ms. Michaela Boyle as the chair, Deputy Chair of the Assembly and Executive Review Committee. And finally, I call on Mr. David Ford to select and nominate. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. From the enormous list in front of me, I select the Audit Committee and nominate Trevor Lund as Deputy Chair. Is the member willing to take up the office for which he has been nominated? Yes, thank you, Mr. Speaker. I announce the appointment of Mr. Trevor Lund as Deputy Chairperson of the Committee for Audit. Thank you. That concludes the appointment of Chairpersons and Deputy Chairpersons of the uh, committees. Item 6 on the order paper, the adjournment. The question is that the Assembly do now adjourn. The Assembly is adjourned.